Dear students, now we are going to solve an important problem to calculate the efficiency of transmission line. A generator of 1 volt, 1 kilohertz supplies power to a 100 kilometer long line terminated in the characteristics impedance Z0 and having the following constants. R is equal to 10.4 ohm per kilometer, L is equal to 0 0.00367 Henry per kilometer, G is equal to 0.8 in 10 to the power of minus 6 mo per kilometer, C is equal to 0 0.00835 in 10 to the power of minus 6 farad per kilometer. Calculate the characteristics impedance, propagation constant, voltage and efficiency, also the wavelength and velocity of propagation so this is the given problem it is very very important problem okay so here the sending and voltage is given that is 1 volt here f is equal to 1 kilohertz 1 kilohertz means 1000 hertz okay so then the length of the line is 100 kilometer here in the solution part first we can write the given data vs is equal to 1 volt f is equal to 1 kilohertz l is equal to 100 kilometer and the line parameter values. The first step is to find the omega value using the formula 2 pi f. f value is what? 1 kilohertz. Okay. So 2 into 3.14 into 1000 is equal to 6280. This is the value of omega. Okay. After that we can find out the series impedance value. Z is equal to R plus J omega L. Okay. So here we can simply substitute the values of R, omega and L. So Z is equal to 10.4 that is the value of R plus J, omega value is 6280, L value is 0 0.00367. We can simply multiply these two values. Okay, we can get the value as 10.4 plus J, 23. That is the series impedance value. It is in rectangular form. We have to convert that into polar form also because we are going to use both rectangular form as well as polar form in this problem. I have already explained the rectangular to polar conversion and polar to rectangular conversion using calculator in the previous lecture video. You can refer that video. Okay. So here Z in polar form is equal to 25.24 with phase 66 degree. Okay. You have to remember these two values. Next, we are going to find the value of shunt admittance y is equal to g plus j omega c. So, here we are going to substitute the values of g, omega and c. y is equal to g value is 0 0.8 in 10 to the power of minus 6 plus j. Omega value is 6280. c value is 0 0.00835 microfarad. Micro means 10 to the power of minus 6. Okay. Then we have to multiply these two values. Then we can get 0 0.8 in 10 to the power of minus 6 plus J 52.5 into 10 to the power minus 6. So here 10 to the power of minus 6 is a common one. We can take it outside. So here this is the Y value in terms of rectangular form. We have to convert this into polar form. Okay. Then we can get the value as Y is equal to 52.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 with phase value 89 degree. Do you all understand this one? So now we have calculated the Z value and Y value in terms of both rectangular and polar forms. Okay. Next we are going to calculate the characteristics impedance Z0. Z0 is equal to square root of Z by Y. Here we are going to use the polar form of Z and Y values because the division can be done only in terms of polar form. We cannot use rectangular form. Okay. So the polar form of Z is 25.24 with phase 66 degree. Y value is 52.5 in 10 to the power of minus 6 with phase 89 degree. Okay. So here we can directly divide this to magnitudes value then we can get square root of 0 0.4807 25.24 divided by 52.5 is 0 
in 10 to the power of plus 6. This minus 6 becomes plus 6 in the numerator. In case of division, the face angles can be subtracted and divided by 2 because of this square root. So here 66 minus 89 divided by 2. Then we can get the value as 693 with face minus 11.5 degree ohm per kilometer. So this is the characteristics impedance value 693 with angle minus 11.5 degree ohm per kilometer. Okay. So next we are going to calculate the value of propagation constant. Gamma is equal to square root of Z into Y. So we can use the polar form since it is a multiplication. So here 25.24 with angle 66 degree multiplied with 52.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 with angle 89 degree. The same way we can simply multiply the magnitudes together that value is 1325.1 in 10 to the power of minus 6. In case of multiplication we can simply add the face angles and divide by 2 because of the square root. Okay. So here 66 plus 89 divided by 2. Then we can get the value as square root of 1325.1 in 10 to the power of minus 6 is 0 0.0364 with angle 77.5 degree. So here the propagation constant is in polar form. We have to convert that into rectangular form because the gamma value is also equal to alpha plus j beta. Correct? So we have to convert this polar form into rectangular form to get the values of attenuation constant alpha and phase constant beta. So this is the corresponding rectangular form of this polar form. Gamma is equal to 0 0.0079 plus J 0 0.0355. As gamma is equal to alpha plus J beta, we can equate the real terms together. So alpha is equal to 0 0.0079. Its unit is nepers per kilometer. So here we can equate the imaginary path. So here beta is equal to 0 0.0355 radians per kilometer. So now we have obtained alpha and beta values. After getting the values of alpha and beta, we can find out the wavelength and velocity of propagation using beta value. So wavelength lambda is equal to 2 pi by beta. We can substitute that beta value here. So 2 pi by 0 0.0355 that is equal to 177 kilometer. So that is the wavelength of the given transmission line. So next velocity of propagation V is equal to omega by beta. Omega value is 6280 divided by the beta value is 0 0.0355. That is equal to 1,76,901. Okay, kilometer per second. So this is the velocity of propagation for the given transmission line. Next we are going to find out the sending end current IS. Its formula is Vs by Ezs. Here the transmission line is terminated with the characteristics impedance. So we can use this formula Vs by Ez0. Vs value is given in the problem that is 1 volt with phase 0 degree. Z0 value is what? 693 with phase minus 11.5 degree. Then we can simply divide these two values. Okay. So we can get 0 0.00144. Angles can be subtracted. Correct. So 0 here we can say 0 degree minus of minus 11.5 degree. We can get plus 11.5 degree for this sending and current. Okay, so here this value can also be written as 1.44 into 10 to the power of minus 3 with angle 11.5 degree unit is amperes. Okay, so 0 0.00144 can be written as 1.44 into 10 to the power minus 3. This 10 to the power minus 3 can be written as milliamps. Okay, so this all are correct. Okay. 
So next we are going to get the value of sending n power P s that is equal to V s into I s. Here the P s value is equal to V s value is what? 1. 1 into this value is equal to 1.44 into 10 to the power of minus 3 with angle 11.5 degree watts. Okay. Next we are going to find out the received current value I r. The relation between the received current and the sending current is given here. So I r is equal to I s into E power minus gamma L. This minus gamma L can be written as E power minus alpha L into E power minus J beta L. As we all know that gamma is equal to what? Alpha plus J beta. Do you all understand this? So E power minus gamma L can be written as E power minus alpha L into E power minus J beta L. So next we are going to get the values of this one as well as this one. Okay. So here alpha into L. L is given in the problem that is 100 kilometer. So we are going to obtain the total attenuation throughout the line. Okay. So 0 0.0079 that is the value of this alpha multiplied with this 100. We can get 0 0.79 nepers. Okay. So here e power minus alpha L that is equal to e power minus 0 0.79. So we can get the value as 0 0.454. So we can use the calculator and substitute this value. Okay. Exponential power minus 0 0.79. Okay. So next for this beta L. Okay. So beta value is what? 0 0.0355 into L value is 100. We can get. 3.55 radians. So here e power minus j beta L. So e power minus j theta means we can say it is in degree. Okay. So here this e power minus j beta L is representing the angle of the given value 3.55. So here it is a minus sign. We can take the angle as minus 3.55. It should be in degree. Okay, e power minus j theta always represents what? The value in degree. So here 1 radian is equal to 57.3 degree. Correct? This is the relation. 1 radian is equal to what? 57.3 degree. So we can multiply this minus 3.55 with this 57 point degree. Then we can get the angle minus 203.4 degree. So e power minus j beta L can be written as minus 203.4 degree. Do you all understand this concept? After that we can substitute the values of this e power minus gamma L and e power minus j beta L and is value in this formula. So ir is equal to what is the is value? 0 0.00144 with phase 11.5 degree. e power minus alpha L value is? 0 0.454 then e power minus j beta l value is angle minus 203.4 degree. Simply we can multiply this value and this value we can get the answer as 0 0.000654 then we can add this two values. So minus 203.4 plus 11.5 means minus 191.8 degree it is in amperes. Do you all understand this? So this can also be written as 6.54 into 10 to the power of minus 4 with angle minus 191.8 degree amps. Okay. So next we are going to get the value of received voltage VR that is equal to Ohm's law IR into Z0. IR value is here. We can write it down. And Z0 value is 693 11.5 degree. Simply we can multiply these two values. Then we can get the answer as VR is equal to 0 0.453 with angle minus 203.3 degree. Its unit is volts. Okay. Next we are going to find out the received power for the given values. PR is equal to VR into IR cos theta. So here theta is the angle between this VR and IR. VR angle is 203.3, IR angle is 191.8. So here we are going to take the difference between these two angles. Okay. 
So that value is what? 11.5 degree. Do you all understand this? Better? So next we have to substitute the values of VR, IR and then substitute this theta value here. We can consider only the magnitude. So VR value is what? 0.453. IR value is what? 0.000654. And here cos theta value is 11.5 degree. Then we can get the answer as 3.038 in 10 to the power of minus 4 in terms of watts. Finally, we are going to find out the transmission efficiency of the given transmission line. Here the efficiency eta is equal to the ratio of output power that is the received power to the sending end power. So we can simply substitute the values of the received power as 3.038 in 10 to the power of minus 4 divided by 1.44 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Then we are going to obtain the transmission efficiency in terms of percentage for that we can multiply the result with this 100. So we can get the efficiency as 21 percentage.